Cab drivers have to remember a lot. By the end of their career, they'll know their cities better than anyone. But does that mean that their brain will be bigger than yours? A study published in the year 2000 did the research to find out. A researcher named McGuire examined the brains of London taxi drivers in an attempt to find evidence of neuroplasticity caused by years of driving. Specifically, McGuire's study wanted to know whether the hippocampus, a brain region associated with navigation and memory, could change in response to decades of navigating a city. London taxi drivers are a great sample for this study because London is a bit of a nightmare to navigate. These taxi drivers spend so long memorizing the city's streets that the development of this skill is literally called gaining the knowledge. So the study recruited a group of London taxi drivers, each with different lengths of experience, and a control group of non-taxi drivers. They used MRI scans to assess the size and shape of the participants' hippocampi, focusing on any differences in volume between these two groups. The results showed that the posterior hippocampus in the taxi driver group were significantly larger compared to those of the control subjects. More strikingly, there was a positive correlation between the amount of time spent as a taxi driver and the volume of the posterior hippocampus. So this suggests that the extensive experience of navigating the streets of London had physically altered the structure of the taxi driver's brains. So it looks like taxi drivers probably have us beat if we're comparing hippocampus size. But the good news is that this is evidence that you probably have a brain that has adapted to meet the challenges that you regularly face. Neuroplasticity means that your brain will adapt to whatever it does often.